Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 125, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We uh, rescued Master Vrook from the mercenaries. That that went quicker than I'd expected. Uh, we've rearranged and re-equipped our crew because we're about to head into some major league combat. And... What's better than charging in with one Jedi? Charging in with three Jedi. So let's make our way back to Kunda and uh, proceed to the defense. You are oh. the Jedi I've heard reports of. Oh, hi. I am Asku, <laughs> leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Yeah. Uh, what do you want with me? Straight to the point. I like that. I will be equally direct. I am planning to take Kunda, and you're going to help me. You haven't heard about me. <laughs> uh, but why attack Kunda? You don't need to know the details. Yeah, I do. But I can tell you, there are a lot of credits involved. All right, and why would I help you? According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. Okay, that doesn't answer the question, though. Nah, no, there's I'm nothing inevitable about this. You will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Hmm. Of course, I will pay well for your services. I'm not interested. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with... Oh, violence. no, you can't. <laughs> there is a considerable <laughs> bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. Uh, die, mercenary scum. No, I cannot allow your plans to succeed. You could have guided the situation to a better outcome. I applaud your conviction. <laughs> a lesser person might have deceived these brutes to avoid battle. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. <laughs> you have too much faith in your men. <laughs> this, this, the, uh, yep, yeah. okay. Oh, he only left, what, three, four, five, six, seven? He only left seven of them? All right, that's okay. Oh. As long as, um, Kriya actually manages to do her Jedi support thing. Light side points gained, influence lost with Kriya. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Lady, you are supposed to be, uh... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't send seven men to take on three Jedi. It, uh, it just doesn't end well. I mean, that that felt like, like that last scene of se season two of The Mandalorian in triplicate. With uh, lightsabers wielding, force of flying, and bad guys falling fast. <laughs> I trust you men can handle him. No, no, your men can't I handle me. You. Come on. I'm here. Okay. Oh, all right. So that's what I got everybody set as. All right. Let, let, let me save that progress. Reminds me, how how much more do I have to go before my next level? Oh, so close. So close. I, I hope I can reattune my crystal before uh, relations go south with my compatriot there. I could have directed that to a better outcome. Are you kidding me? What was she wanting me to do? Side with the mercenaries? She was probably wanting me to side with the mercenaries. Because uh, we did have... Oh! Oh, there are mines now. Okay. I'm not going to blow them up because... I wonder if that isn't going to be part of the defense for the mercenary assault. Because things, things are about to get hairy. 
do you have anything good? Welcome news. You have many things for sale. What, what, what do you... What do you have for sale? No, oh, you got all droid stuff. Never mind. All right, let's uh, let's start. Sorry, this door is blocked off. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my! Well, we do have some mines. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. Okay. For your own good, I recommend you. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I was supposed to. I was supposed to put the lightsabers go. away. Oops. Uh, let's try the regular persuade. I will answer your questions. All right, never mind. Don't cause any more trouble for Dantooine. <laughs> I've had enough of it for my I, 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 I wonder if I messed things up by doing that, doing it this way. Admiral, this is Mikal. I have found the exile. Um. Oh. Oh, it's Kurth. Hey. I haven't seen you in a while. All right. Uh, was he the one that I had? Settler notices your lights. Oh. Oh, seriously. Fine. Actually. I wonder. If I switch, will he talk to me then? No, he won't talk to me now. I'm sick and tired of those mercenaries. Some people say Zeron is antagonizing them too much. I think he should do more. There is somebody I needed to talk to. The administrator's the only hope we have. Without okay. her, the settlers would... Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. I found your thief. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? Your thief wasn't Joran or a salvager. Uh, no. Let's just go with it was a salvager. She's been dealt with. Really? You must have been yeah. very persuasive. I'm relieved this situation is finally resolved. You have more than earned this reward. Oh. Okay. Oh! I should also add, you see how the items received are a Deshade Sonic Disruptor and Frieden Nads Blaster? Those are also level adjusted blasters that you get from him. And the added wrinkle is it also depends on what blasters are in inventory. So in other words, if you're supposed to get Freed and Ad's blaster and you already have one in your inventory, it won't give you another one. It'll pick the next one on the list that you would have normally gotten. Um, and, and there's some, yeah, a lot of really weird stuff related to that. Uh, what other quest turn-ins do I have while I'm here? Uh, we got the Lost Jedi, the Defense. Uh, so we need to talk to Zarin. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's talk to Zarin. All right. There's the weapons merchant. We may have to talk to him later. Uh, where is? Oh, Zarin's not there. He's probably in conference right now. Well, will you do just as well? Zaron was right about the mercenaries all along. And I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda. Okay. All right, let's do this. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. Hmm. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron hmm. says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. All right. Um, what can I do to help? Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. All right. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. 
Um, can you give me anything? No. No. Uh, who knows about the attack? Now? Just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Alright, I'll check out the defenses then. Here is a MasterCard key oh, that will open hey. all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, yeah. please use. I'm sure Soon everything that is not bolted will down will help me in my task. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zara. All right. You heard what the administrator said. Each of us <laughs> has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda. See where you can lend a hand. We'll have time to talk more when this is all over. Well, okay then. In that case, since uh, I need to go repairing stuff, let me remove her and add my mechanic back to the party. Hello, good sir. Alright, uh, what other quests do I need to turn in? We got the defense, we got the lost Jedi, I need to... need to talk to Zern. But that's gonna start that's gonna start the battle. So um Yep, nope. That's about it. Alright, let's see to the defenses. Let's start with Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we we have mines. We we can we've been recovering mines from various areas, so we could definitely do something about that. There are other mines around here. Let's um Yeah. Let's put you in charge, good sir. Turret appears old and worn. Oh, this is gonna be one of those uh I, I need to go in, in the building into all the locked doors that I couldn't get into, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Well, let's start making our way around the halls and into the doors. We took care of those guys. He's all sad and stuff. Uh, I really ought to do some trading with him, but that's just not going to happen right now. That's uh, still locked and sealed. It ain't gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's locked and sealed and not gonna happen. There's one of my security doors. Alright, turret control station. What's going on? Uh fix that. <laughs> turret control system loading. Complete. Enter command. Slice the computer for zero spikes. That is why you bring an expert. System override accepted. Uh, turret status. Turrets are active and set to attack friendlies and hostiles, pending base alert status. Wait, what? Reprogram turrets to attack only hostiles. Yes. Why, why would you even have it set to attack friendlies? Well, I mean, other, other than for the dark side points. Okay. Journal entry added. We got some XP, some items. Okay. Let's get the uh, proper head of the party and the, at the head of the party. Um. Ooh. Nice. I mean, other than they don't get us anything worthwhile. And is that the back door? That's probably the back door. Okay, so that's that back door. And it's locked. Because of course it is. Alright. I'm gonna have to lay some more mines that are already out there. Is there anything we can do over in the over in the spaceport? I don't think there is. I feel like there should be. No. There's just a Birkin Protocol droid and a card shark waiting for transport. Alright, back into the building. 
because apparently we can't make this easy. All right, we got the turrets taken care of. There's got to be something else in here. There were a lot of locked doors. She probably remembers that I had the lightsaber in hand. I can't believe I did that. All right, so that was the east wing. Now it's to the west wing. Welcome back. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, not right now. Although if you needed to, you could talk to him about a whole bunch of stuff. All right, what's in here? No, that's uh, a private door. Uh, no, that's uh, a private door. Hmm, this could be useful. We got some broken droids and a computer, and that sounds perfect for my tech specialist. To, come on, get out of the way. All right, slice the computer for zero spikes. <laughs> when you're so skilled, it takes nothing to break in. All right, droid bay, security camera. Okay. Defense droid status. Defense droids inactive. Uh, change defense droid target priority. Oh, there's no active. Okay, okay. I can't do anything until I do something about these droids. This broken droid has ooh, some nice stuff. And this guy has droid scavenger upgrade. He knows an electro staff. Okay, that's kind of nice. A little worthless at this particular juncture in the game, but okay. Friedenad's blaster. Mm. Oh. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> I love this text. 3 to 12 energy plus 2 to 20 dark side. But here's the thing. Restricted to dark side. Restricted to Sith assassin, Sith lord, or Sith marauder. So basically, the only way to use Friedenad's blaster is to have prestiged as a dark side character. All right, there's that sonic disruptor. None of y'all is what I was looking for. There's the mercenary orders. There's the security card key. The scavenger upgrade. Immune to critical hits. Plus five repair, plus three, four, plus two con. Eh. Okay. That, that's, that's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um... What about you? You got a deflector. We got a workbench. Access to a workbench now. That'll be nice. Droid defense barrier. All right. Let's see. What can we do? Reactivate the droid. Optimize weaponry. Optimize targeting system. Activate shields. Modify droid programming. Oh, failure. Computer station. Modify programming. Failure. Okay. Okay. So we got that guy active. All right, let's re... How many parts do I have left? I still got 24 parts. Okay, reactivate. When trying to reactivate this droid, you discovered a hydro spanner logged inside it. The name Akira is printed on the handle of the tool. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we need to talk to somebody about that. All right, uh, optimize the weaponry. Targeting system, shields, patrol mode? No, can't do that. Programming? No, can't do that. That's all at the central computer. Yeah, we need to talk to somebody about that. All right. That's uh, two droids fully upgraded. And then we got this guy. We're going to reactivate him for a part. Weapons, targeting, shields. And no, that's it. Okay. Oh, yes. There we go. Now, I can go in, level up, and this gets us to 27. Sorry, had to math there for a minute. Skills, tree injury, security, persuade, computer use, and stealth. Okay. Feats. Beyond the left and the right. I'm not going to do the heavy armor proficiency because that's really not the way I'm going with this. 
Especially now that I'm a uh, robe wearing. Uh, precise shot is not going to help. Stealth run might be nice, but I'm not doing enough stealth to make that worthwhile. Uh, mobility might be nice. I, I got too much strength to do any kind of finesse. Repair and demolitions, still not worth it. Uh, dueling, so not worth it. Uh, master toughness would be good. Or... Where's, um... Or conditioning. Those, those are really the, the two that make sense. Master toughness or conditioning. And I think I'm going to go with master toughness. Okay. And powers. I've got the heal tree all... The, oh, that's right. I was going to go finish up the two-parter on force immunity. Okay. Except... There we go. Achievement unlocked. Trust me, I am a doctor. Oh, <laughs> that's right. There's an achievement for having a uh, 30 in treat injury. And it's called, trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me remove you and add you real quick. Because... I want to talk yes. to you. Have you come with questions? I have. Can you tell me about the crystal? That crystal is bonded to you. Yeah, I know. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your <laughs> current self. Remove it from your lightsaber, oh. then ask me about it again. Is there something else you wish? No, never mind. I will ask you about other stuff later, but uh, apparently I need to remove the crystal. <laughs> Talk to her. And then add it back in, because that makes sense. All right. Yes. Have you come with questions? I have. Can you tell me about the crystal? That crystal is bonded, it's bonded to, to, you to me. Yada, yada, yada. Focus on the crystal for a moment. There. Now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished? Yeah, another few more levels? No? Okay. Uh, I really do want to go through and, and do a check-in before uh, beforehand, but it's just not an option right now. All right, upgrade items. Let's go back to our lightsaber, and let's add the new and improved an on junior crystal. This crystal gro glows brilliantly, and it is light side attuned, and it now adds plus four dex, plus four strength, plus five wisdom, and all sorts of awesome. I hope you notice the texture is a little bit brighter, too. <laughs> okay. Now the last on... Um, Let's uh, get rid of you. Add you back. We've prepared just about everything here. I need you, sir, to head over to the droid control station. And let's check the defense droid status. Three defense droids are active and set to defend friendlies pending alert status. Uh, target... Reprogram defense droids to defend hostiles. All right, that's if you side with the mercenaries. So let's return to the main. All right, uh, target priority. Nope, I already did that. Uh, engage in patrol mode. Okay. So we got the turrets repaired. We got the droids to go into um, patrol mode when the when the alert is sounded. What else do we have here? What's behind this security door? Anything worthwhile? We got a stuck door. I think I know how to handle that. Wounded militia. All right, let me treat injury. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. <laughs> this, this, this is. Look, if you're not already, you should definitely follow Arcadius, the mod in chat. Um. He, he does a, a Battlefield 5 
live stream from time to time along with X Medic Frog, who is another one of the mods uh, currently not in chat. But uh, in Battlefield Five, the the medic class, all you do is you jab somebody with a needle and oh, go on back to battle. This feels like that. Like here's this guy moaning, like like he's in the worst pain of his life. Uh, what did I do? Give him some force to load it and all right. You must feel fine now. Go on. Off with you. <laughs> All right. All right. Treat the injury. I'm not even going to ask what happened. Thanks, stranger. I, I feel like an overworked ER doctor. Just treat the injury. Treat the injury. I don't care what happened. Just treat the injury. Go on. Get out of here. You're bothering me. Next, next. I hope your insurance covers us. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. <laughs> Force persuade there is no pain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I doesn't seem to be quite the way. Right. I feel better. Thanks. I feel better. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What's the medical droid? Uh, let me leave it alone. Because I got the wrong person messing with the droid. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Reactivate the droid for me was five parts. Reactivate the droid for him is zero parts. Reactivate the droid's automated healing subroutines. Nice. Journal entry added, XP received, light side points gained, life is good. What's the journal entry? All right. Uh... You should still be just outside Kunda. Yep. Okay. I could have talked to him. Um, is there anything at the lab station I need to... Oh. Droid, please. Uh, no. Okay. That... Ooh. Use the lab station now. Because all this is based off of treat injury. That helps. Uh, except for the... The mines. Those are off of demolitions. Um... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might, uh, I might have to go grab uh, Bowder again and get uh, go make some more mines. But first, I got twenty twenty six life support packs. Never mind. We're good. I don't want to burn through all the chemicals though because I do. I do want to make some of the, uh, like, immunity packages and all that kind of stuff. Alright. I'll leave that alone for now. And what's behind the stuck door? Alright. Ah. Oh. Okay, then. I guess we're not going to manage that yet. Oh, that's right. That was a private door. All right. Then, um... That would appear to be... Every, no, 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 no. That's right, that's right, that's right. We were going to go set some more mines. Uh... We got the turrets, we got the militia, we got the droids. Yeah. So let's go place some more mines and then I'll take a take a short break. Speaking of which, I'm not gonna place more mines. I'm gonna have my demolitions expert place some more mines. Cause that seems smarter. Alright, not a flash mine. Yeah, let's do a strong frag mine. Set and activated. Oh, people, don't. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another one here. Set and activated. Yes, you can do as much or as little prep as you want, and more prep is better. Uh, also, if you're playing for the mercenary team, that also means <laughs> that you can go pick up those mines over there and uh, repurpose them for yourself. Alright, 
so I got that part marked off. Uh, I don't even know what, what all directions they're going to come from. So, oh, does this... There's no access port for this turret, so it must be controlled from inside. Oh. Okay. So that's the part where you can sabotage them. Interesting. I knew there was an option, too, because... It, if you're playing for the mercenaries, if you're doing the dark side way and playing the, the mercenary path, there's a bunch of stuff you're supposed to be able to do. Alright, so we've got most of those set. Let's just uh, add another strong frag mine there. And let's... Put one there. Set and activated. Let's put one there. Set and activated. Let's put one more there. Set and activated. All right, and then let's switch back to the main character so we can go have a talk with. Uh, I think it's this guy here. You wish to speak again. Welcome news. I still have many things for sale. Yeah, I found your Hydro Spanner in, uh... I found this Hydro Spanner. It has your name on it. <laughs> ah, you found my tool. Yes, I've been looking for that. Where did you find it? <laughs> Funny thing, that. Inside of a broken droid. Don't toy with me. I... Yeah, no, no, no. Let, let's... Let's start nice. I've been caught. Yes, I'm guilty of stripping the droids and selling their parts, but I have good reason. Oh, really? Uh, you broke the law? I don't care about your reasons. Nah, uh, tell me. I've received terrible news. My brother's second wife is with child. She has become ill and requires medical aid. Her condition is life-threatening. The doctors will not treat her without full payment up front. But my brother doesn't have any money. I feel like I've heard this before. Before the moon is turned, I must send my brother enough credits to pay the doctors. Believe me, I am normally a very honest person, but this situation has made me desperate. Please, you believe me, won't you? Uh, I don't care about your reasons. You broke the law. What will you give me for keeping it quiet? I believe you please take 500 credits to help. Well, since I don't see an awareness, I believe you're lying, which is usually what goes on when you're catching somebody lying. Let's go ahead. I believe you take the 500 credits. Okay, thank you so much. In gratitude for your discretion, I will give you a discount on my goods. The stuff that I won't buy. Ooh. But I did get uh, some light side points. Okay. I mean, I'm already maxed out on light side points. Right thing, General. All right. And Barodur seemed to really enjoy that. Uh, I guess that's. Uh, is that all the? Yeah. So we're at the defense. Lost Jedi. We can't do this guy. Got to talk to the militia leader. And yeah. That would be it. All right, let me go back to my party. And as much as I like having him around, I, I need somebody with uh, some better Jedi support. We've placed some mines. We left more mines. We got the turrets. We got the droids. I think we've done about all we can do. And uh, let me go talk to the militia leader. Actually before I walk in here to handle this militia leader, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any 
questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.